welcome to my channel my name is jasmine and you're watching jasmine it up in today's video i have my eyeshadow palette collection um please don't judge me about how many palettes i have i want to say i have uh, maybe like 50 i have two drawers full of palettes that i'm going to be showing you guys um and even throwing in a few swatches for each palette if you guys are interested in seeing my eyeshadow palette collection just keep on watching all right so i have two drawers of eyeshadow palettes and this is the first one that i have here this is the tartlet um palette from tarte and this is an all matte palette this was definitely one of the first high-end palettes i remember purchasing myself um or receiving i think i might have gotten it for a birthday present i honestly don't remember i've had this for a while like i said it's an all matte palette super great for travel i have taken this with me when i've been on vacations before and i absolutely love these shades i was definitely into mobs when i first started this and this is lovely because it does have a lot of mauve shades and they blend really well i absolutely love this palette and i still get some use out of it next one i have here this is an urban decay palette and this is beauty with an edge i got this on sale and i absolutely love it it is pretty much an all shimmer palette except for the matte black in here which is honestly an awesome matte black they're awesome shimmer shades especially when you just need a pop of color those are just some swatches for you guys you can really build these up and i just think it's awesome and i love having this in my everyday makeup drawer next palette i have here this is the nyx avant pomp palette and it is in nouveau chic my cousin actually got this for me for christmas one year and nyx has honestly been coming out with a lot of newer palettes and they've been awesome they're very large um but i've been interested in purchasing one eventually and this is just some swatches for you guys it's a great palette um for every day or if you want to even do like a nighttime sultry kind of a look i absolutely love this guy next palette i have here is from elf cosmetics and this is the mad for matte palette i believe this is the first one that they came out with has a great um, amount of neutral tones honestly wonderful for if you're just starting out makeup like especially like a teenager and they just want to go for the natural look you have a bunch of lighter shades over here and even some darker ones this is so good it blends out so well and I absolutely love the mattes in here I gravitate towards this one um, quite often actually if I just need my basic mattes and they blend out so good so highly recommend this one next one is also by elf cosmetics and this is the summer breeze palette this is what this one looks like it has awesome pops of color this purple this like pinkier shade super super great i think these are like ten dollars these are so awesome and they blend out so good all mattes another all matte palette that i own this is the Too faced natural matte palette i picked this up at tj maxx on a great sale i haven't used it that much because i always gravitate more towards the elf ones um, but this is really good i have used these and they blend really really well and they're so smooth like oh Too faced just makes awesome eyeshadows they blend so well so smooth and creamy i absolutely love Too Faced. next one i have here i honestly haven't even used yet there are a couple in here that i haven't touched um, but i am looking forward to using them this is the revlon eyes cheeks and lips in berry in love and my friend got me this um, a while back and it has lip products a cheek product right here in the middle and then eyeshadows here on top i feel like revlon isn't super popular but yet sometimes they be putting out some really awesome stuff so i've watched this before but i haven't used it yet on my eyes and i am looking forward to it i feel like this would be good if you're going to be doing a light makeup look and i think the shades in here are super pretty i could definitely vibe with the purples and the pinks in here this next one i haven't been able to use as well this is the makeup revolution chilled palette i absolutely love the packaging on this i did haul this this in one of my Ulta hauls recently so if you guys want to check out that video I will link it up in the eye for you and these are awesome greens and like neutral tones this is so beautiful I could not pass this up can't wait to swatch these I haven't even swatched this palette yet oh I'm so excited they're so smooth and I can tell the glitters are gonna be awesome oh my gosh yes ma'am yes please I am so excited to test out this glitter right here Ooh lord okay so excited i have to put this in an everyday makeup drawer very soon All right next palette here this is the pocahontas dare to dream palette i picked this up at walgreens a while back and this is honestly one of my favorite ones that i purchased when i did order from walgreens i picked three of them up one is my pan that palette which i'm trying to get use out of um, but this is the one that i like the most these red tones are just awesome it comes with a blush and a bronzer super super good i absolutely love this palette these eyeshadows are so pigmented and there is a bronzer 
they're super light and just oh the perfect tone absolutely love this palette i'm not sure if they sell these or if this was limited edition but i don't even like pocahontas the movie but i love this palette this is the third one that i purchased this was the um disney villains and this is maleficent so here's what this one looks like it has some awesome purples and it came with like um an eyelid primer a lip gloss an eyeliner and a brush so it has some awesome purples up here that I'm going to swatch for you. And then this cute little green. Very, very nice. I love Maleficent. And these are really good. I need to get more use out of this palette as well. Next palette I picked up from either Ross or TJ Maxx. This is the Born to be a Unicorn from Color Story. And I absolutely love the colors in here. Super unicorny, super bright. Comes with a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. And then these awesome um, eyeshadows here. And honestly, the first time I used this, they were really good. Um, but they sort of blended out to be nothing. I really need to play with this a little bit more. Because I've only played with a few of the shades. But here is what these look like they're super vibrant but unfortunately when you blend them out they just come out to be nothing um that was only using these once or twice but i really need to play with this again because i love the packaging um obviously i love unicorns and i just love the colors in it too so i need to play with this more all right next palettes i have i have the nakeds coming up this is the urban decay naked smoky i purchased this when it was on sale and i don't get a lot of use out of it um, i have gotten some use but honestly i need to play with this more i feel like this is a perfect winter palette super sultry super dark and smoky just so pigmented and they blend out really well. Um, love this. The next Naked I have here is the Naked 2 from Urban Decay. This one I probably get the most use out of. Out of all the ones that I have, I even hit pan on this shade here and this one I was able to use completely up. Absolutely love the colors in here and the shimmers in here are awesome. And here is what, oh, Here's what these guys look like. Definitely love this Naked palette out of the three that I have the most. And the last Naked palette I have is the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. I do want to get the honey one that they put out. And I've even been looking at the cherry one. There's definitely a few eyeshadow palettes that I want in my collection. And I'm thinking about doing a whole video on that. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel um, to see that video. Hopefully I'll be able to film that one soon. Have to really do my research. Oh, I really should use this palette more. These are absolutely beautiful rosy shades. And I really need to pull this one out. This is an awesome springtime palette. Next palette I have here is from Smashbox. This was a TJ Maxx find and this is the Photo Matte Eyes palette. I honestly haven't used this one that much. I did put this in an everyday makeup drawer a while back but it wasn't my favorite palette because it's just all mattes and I have other all matte palettes that I prefer over this one. Smashbox does not have my favorite eyeshadow um, formula but it's still really good. They're super smooth and they're light. It's just that you really have to build these guys up. So this is a good palette but maybe in the future I may declutter it. Next palette I have here, I actually found this at Ross. This is the In the Balm of Your Hands Volume 2 by The Balm Cosmetics. And here's what this guy looks like. It has three popular blushes, a very popular bronzer, and then it has some eyeshadows up here, and then Mary Luminizer. Everyone in their mom was talking about the Mary Luminizer highlighter, and honestly, I don't like it that much. I feel like it's not as pigmented as everyone's hyped it up to be. Like, maybe I just really have to build mine up, but I feel like this is just so subtle. Maybe it's supposed to be a subtle highlighter. I don't know but the eyeshadows in here are really good and this is a good travel pot because you have eyeshadow bronzer blush and an highlight so this is awesome this was a great find I have another Tarte palette here this is the Tardis Pro this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in my collection this has a whole bunch of mattes and then it has four shimmer shades this is awesome I love this palette definitely one of my top five has these beautiful mattes that blend out like a dream and then some really poppin metallics it's just so vibrant and pretty. Highly recommend this if you want to build your eyeshadow collection and you don't have it already. Highly recommend. Next palette I have here. This is from Nicole Miller, New York. This is the Starry Night eyeshadow palette and I actually got this as a gift. Very cool toned and I love this blue here and this red is speaking to me. You definitely need another palette when you're going to be using this but the eyeshadows here are so cool toned and I don't wear cool tones that often but they are very pretty. So hopefully I'll be able to get some use out of this. Next palette I have here this is the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics. This is the deluxe edition. I actually was able to pan the first one that I got, the first one that she came out with. I was in my pan that palette a couple years ago. Um, and this is awesome. I love the eyeshadow colors that she picked, but I love the highlights in here the most. They are awesome, so pigmented and beaming. This is a really awesome palette and it's pretty affordable too. BH Cosmetics has a great price range. This is a highlighter. You can even use it as an inner corner highlight, brow highlight. 
but I like to put that on my cheeks because I like to be seen from outer space. This is an awesome affordable palette. The next palette I have here is from Juvia's Place. This is the Masquerade Mini and I haven't used this one. I recently got it and I haven't been able to test it out yet, um, but it has some wonderful shimmer shades. I haven't even swatched it yet, so this is going to be a first for me as well. This blue is speaking to me. This one and let's swatch this brown one here. My cousin really loves Juvia's Place, so I definitely wanted to pick up a palette from them, and I heard that their formula is awesome. I mean, look at these vibrant shades. So, so pretty. I'm super excited to test this one out. I might put this in a video. Next palette I have here, this is from Morphe, and this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, and this is in, oh, Dark Magic is this one, and it has some wonderful green tones to it absolutely beautiful none of the other ones really spoke to me which is why i didn't get all of them this is the one that spoke to me the most and i haven't even swatched this haven't even used it yet um so i'm super excited to test this one out i love jacqueline hill i have been watching her videos for like the longest time Ooh, so pretty and pigmented i'm so excited to use this especially during the fall time here is another palette that unfortunately i haven't been able to use yet i picked this up at tj maxx not too long ago this is the riviera palette by anastasia beverly hills love her eyeshadow formula this is so colorful and bright i am I'm waiting for summertime to really pull this guy out and get the most use out of it these shades are so beautiful oh my goodness so bright so pigmented anastasia killed it with this one i am so excited to use this guy the next abh palette i have here this is the monitor renaissance this was my first abh palette and i definitely got some use out of this she's a little bit beat up i use this all year round and these shimmer shades are ridiculous her reds in here are awesome this palette, it just is unbelievable. And I feel like some people don't like Modern Renaissance, but this is my favorite one. Those are the two only ABH palettes that I have. There are a couple that I've been wanting to get, but hopefully you guys will be seeing that in the video where I'm discussing all the palettes that I wish I had in my collection. Next palette I have here, this is one of my favorites. Definitely top five, Too Faced, the Chocolate Gold Palette. This one is amazing, great for travel. I have taken this on vacation with me. It has all of the shimmer shades that you need, and it only has a few mattes, but they're the only ones you need. A brown, black, cree shade, and one to set the eye primer with. This smells like chocolate. It is so good. I absolutely love this palette. Like, if I completely use this up, I would buy this one in a heartbeat. Super colorful, super pigmented. I love this palette. Don't sleep on it. If you don't have it, go get it. I have another Too Faced palette here. This is the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and this one I picked up at TJ Maxx on a really good price, and I honestly haven't used it that much. I've used it a couple times. I put it in my everyday makeup drawer, like, once but it has super smooth eyeshadows. I mean, Too Faced just has one of the best formulas, I think, in my opinion. I absolutely love Too Faced and Tarte, and there's some swatches for you. Super light, super natural. This is a great palette, um, especially to travel with or if you just like that natural look. I have a, another Morphe palette here. This is the 3502 palette. This is very large, and this is a wonderful fall palette. Let me go ahead and remove that has some awesome oranges, browns, neutral tones. This palette is amazing for the fall time. The only thing I don't like about it is how big it is, but I will get over it because the shadows in here are unbelievable. Look how pigmented, look how orangey and awesome. This palette is so good. I highly recommend Morphe eyeshadow palettes as well. Super affordable, super great. Next palette I have here is another Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first one that she came out with with Morphe. Um, this one is huge, large and in charge, but beautiful. Has beautiful naturals, rosy tone pinks over here, a couple of bright shimmer shades over there, and then all of the mattes and darkness that you need to darken up a look. The black in here is really great. I'm gonna swatch this blue one and this one i love jaclyn hill like i said before and i'm so excited i definitely want to get the volume two the shades in here are awesome love this palette i just pulled out the eyeshadow palettes that i had in my everyday makeup drawer completely forgot about them so i do have another anastasia one this is the subculture one was able to pick this up at tj maxx for a great price and people have been dogging this one because of all the kickback i absolutely love this palette i've been using it and this shade is awesome so here's a couple swatches for you guys yeah it has kickback um but i can get over it because look at those shades super dark sultry little grungy moment happening i absolutely love this palette next palette i have here this is the nyx ultimate shadow palette and this is the brights version very colorful and these are so pigmented so awesome i just used this the other day because i needed some hot pinks and this is just a really really good palette and super affordable you can use a coupon on ulta on nyx cosmetics and just so vibrant it's crazy how affordable this guy is and i absolutely love this for color looks let's just take a moment for the packaging 
This glittery moment is everything to me. This is the Urban Decay Moondust palette. They don't have this anymore. I was able to pick this up at TJ Maxx. This guy is so pretty. He is all shimmers, but wonderful. I've only swatched this one. I just like to look at him, but yes, I will eventually use him. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple more of these guys. Super glittery. And just look at those colors. So, so pretty. I really need to go ahead and do some glittery looks with this guy. So I definitely want to pull this palette out. Next one I have here is the Pan Up palette that I'm using right now. This is the third one from the Disney villains and princesses that I picked up. This is the Evil Queen from Snow White. And this is what she looks like. Very neutral tones. Awesome um, pairing palette. Came with a brush, eyeshadow, primer. And it even comes with a bronzer, which I actually have have hit pan on already super excited about that um so i just started this pan that palette not too long ago and here's a couple swatches for y'all super natural like i said great pairing palette if you need some neutrals or if you just like a soft look highly recommend this palette if they still have it on the walgreens website next big mama palette i have here this is from elf and this was a holiday palette it is so big i can't even put it in frame fully so colorful. This is the only palette you need. I love e.l.f. and all of their eyeshadows. They've definitely been coming out with some new palettes that I've heard are fantastic. I have hit pan on this one over here, hit pan on here. I absolutely love this. I can definitely see myself putting this in a pan that palette because they're so easy to use and you have every color you need in here. This is awesome. I've had this for a while so I definitely should put it in a pan that palette after maybe I finish my Disney one has awesome shades in it super colorful and super pigmented as well awesome awesome this is a wonderful palette i wish elf um kept this permanently all right next one i have here is another tj maxx fine this is the um shade and light eye palette from kat von d and this is the green one in sage i've used this a couple times they only have a few eyeshadows in it so this green is beautiful absolutely love it i know people have issues with kat von d i don't really care what kind of issues you got this is a great eyeshadow formula and i know she's been changing her brand so i'm so glad i was able to get my hands on this guy so beautiful great for the fall time it has every color you need to do like a green smoky look and the other one that i was able to pick up also from kat von d and shade on my eye this is the plum one the purpley version absolutely love this guy too every color you need to do a smoky purple look these are super pigmented super blendable and so soft and here is what those shades look like absolutely love this little guy next little palette i have here this is the nubian palette by juvia's i think this is the mini one because i think they have a full version of this guy i'm not quite sure um i actually got this for free when i purchased the other juvia's place palette that i showed you guys this one came for free from ulta so i haven't even tried this guy yet this looks like it's awesome for traveling especially if you're going away for like a couple days and the shadows in here are just so pretty and neutral Ooh, super pigmented Ooh, look at those this is beautiful I cannot wait to test this out. Next palette I have here, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is real, real old school. They actually redid like the palettes that came like this, um, Wet n Wild, and they put them in like smaller compact palettes. I absolutely love this green. This oil spill eyeshadow shade is ridiculous, and I absolutely love this palette. I will probably never get rid of this guy. I love it. Ooh. Yes, yeah, so, so pretty, super sultry, super dark and grungy. I love this palette. I will never, ever get rid of you. Next palette I have here is my last Morphe one. This is the 9J. I just recently... Okay. I just recently got this. I hauled this in my Ulta haul that I did a little while back, and it has some beautiful plummy and pink shades. This is awesome. Can't wait to try this on my eyes. I have swatched these before, and they're beautiful. So, so pretty. Light pink. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited to try these on the eyes. And we are down to the last three eyeshadow palettes, which are all ColourPop. This is the Element of Surprise from ColourPop. Love the packaging on this. This bright pink is so beautiful. I absolutely love ColourPop. I feel like I've been saying I love every formula, but this is a really great formula. I love ColourPop. They're so affordable, and you can find them at Ulta, or you can even go on their website. Super, super pretty. Next palette from ColourPop. This is the QAF. Mine is super dirty. Please don't judge me. Has some wonderful orangey shades. Perfect for the fall time, or honestly, just for every day, because it has wonderful neutrals as well, and a couple pops of color. Awesome, awesome. Like I said, I love this one during the fall time. And and last but not least, this is the Dream Street, which is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I have been watching this girl for the longest time. I absolutely love her, fully support her, and I want to get her So Jaded palette so bad. I, ooh, 
I need to get that. But this one is awesome. It comes with the most beautiful shimmers ever. Here's what a couple of the swatches look like. So pigmented, super bright and colorful. I absolutely love this guy. I definitely take this traveling um, whenever I go somewhere because it has neutrals and pops of color and beautiful shimmers. Awesome, awesome. I hope you liked today's video. I honestly love the eyeshadow palette so much and I can't wait to keep continue growing my eyeshadow palette collection because it just brings me so much joy and I love playing with different formulas and different colors. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's the red button down below and next to it, there's a little bell that you can click on to get notified when I upload new videos. My social medias are always listed down below for you guys and I hope you guys have a great day. Psh.